So what are you doing with the uh, fan brush? There? I'm just, I, I'm kind of reducing the paint again. Uh, I'm bringing it down. I could leave the paint, I, you know, this is, this is where, where your, your end goal comes into play. I actually like the way that that paint was flowing on there and, and, the, and, the, and the squishiness and everything. But that wasn't, that, that wasn't the end goal of my, uh, and so I, that wasn't the end goal of my, I, I am going for a highly kind of uh, finished look. And uh, uh, so I, I had to, sub, sub, uh, it had to be subservient to what I, my application paint had to be subservient to what my end goal was, and that is to have a very smooth finish, but no. Uh, Tends to soften your edges to the Yeah. Yeah, and that and uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because in, in realist painting, edges are very important. Paying attention to edges, softening the edges, because we don't when we see binocularly, although uh, I, uh, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be, but, but we see we tend to see slightly around edges. A, a camera sees is monocular, and so we send, tend to it's a hard edge. Hard edges do not lend themselves always to um, to three dimensionality. So, so uh, even in, uh, even in landscape painting, but particularly still, I'm painting in uh, <clears throat> in uh, portrait painting. Um, I find that if, the more I pay attention to, do I want this edge to be muted or do I want it to be hard? And more often than not, it needs to be muted. And then I, I select the hard edges, and that gives a more three-dimensional look. It's really, it's, uh, it's really an interesting uh, exercise to, to train yourself to, do I really need that edge hard? Maybe I should soften it. It might even be softened with a, a in between color between the board. It might be something on an edge, and you find a color that's in between that softens it. Might not have to be blended. So, uh, but at this stage, uh, yeah, it's easier to if you're if you're doing all these hard edge things at this stage, it's harder to soften it. So it's always easier to bring up hard edges than it is to soften them. So then, I, uh, so then I got this to this point, uh, and um, I'm going to. I used to be what somebody would use, like almost one brush for the whole painting. Then just always clean the time. But I, I, I use different brushes. I tend to like, you know, personal opinion. I tend to like rounds. I scrub them. And I, I'm a drawer. From the start, so I'm always I draw with my paint, and uh, so that kind of more emulates the, uh, the uh, you can see really how thinly I'm doing this. I still don't I, I, even though that underpainting is not a detailed underpainting. I like I like stuff showing through. This is generally how I've worked this up, and you see, you see at this stage, I had, I had, I had done uh, that scrubbing generally, and then I worked into the sky, got that to a certain level, then I did this, uh, did some detail with this, and then uh, you can see this is actually in the foreground, so I haven't worked in the details of that. And I'll work back, and I'll work forward, and then I'll go back into the sky and do it over again until I feel like it's all, it's all complete. So, this was a, the afternoon sun uh, here in Cavascope Globe looking off of the bridge. Actually, this is a view looking off of the bridge that's behind that uh, waterfall. So. That waterfall, Haynes Falls, is falling down here, and I, 
that ping is viewed from over here. This is looking over this, this bridge.